Each day, Earth Day is coming up this Friday. If you're looking for a project, Danny, you met an 11 year old girl who might have an idea for everyone. Yes, along with her grandma, they're on a mission to recycle something that we all unnecessarily receive way too much of. <laughs> We've all got our pet peeves, and here's Izzy's. Every day I go to the mailbox to get mail for our house. It's one of my jobs and I hate it. Do you know why? Most of it is not for anyone in her house. It's junk mail. She really hates junk mail. Ditto, sister. And she conveyed that in her school essay for Colorado Connections Academy, where she said one fact really stuck with her. It's estimated that over 100 million trees are used annually to produce junk mail. Let's make some seed bombs. Insert the mother of all creation for Gen Z, YouTube. Izzy discovered this video from Arts Nursery Garden and Home on how to recycle organic material like paper into something called seed bombs, where you can plant flowers inside of them. So Izzy thought, well, why couldn't I do that with all the junk mail we always get? This one is already sprouting, but you just throw it out somewhere and it starts growing. Or if it rains, it breaks open. A little more ew. How's that? Really? <laughs> Her grandma, who lives in Arvada, has been helping Izzy start her mission. So basically, they cut up the paper and then blend it with water into a delicious looking pulp. Mm, could be like <laughs> a soup. And then they pack it into a cheesecloth with soil and seeds, drain it, and let it dry for a day. And then after that, like Izzy said, you can literally just throw it into the wilderness and it should sprout. There you go. People are going to think we're littering over here. <laughs> Now, Izzy's goal is to give them to all her friends at Western Airs, where she rides horses every week. And then she also wants to inspire more people to make seed bombs and plant them in their own yards. And of course, let's not forget about the companies that make the junk mail. They don't have to stop sending junk mail. They just need to replant what they cut down. Very wise. What Something to think about. Girl. No kidding. Yeah, and if you guys want to make some seed bombs for Earth Day or beyond, because we get junk mail every day yes. of the year, uh, we'll have info <laughs> on how to do that on our website, thedenverchannel.com.